Hello, I'm Andrew. Welcome to my shop. Uh, I'm working on a 1990 BMW K75RT and I'm not really into doing how-to videos, but uh, I believe this is something that can help somebody. I'm installing the Golfer disc wave rotors on my BMW and hopefully I have some information that can help someone. So these are the stock BMW rotors and as you can see uh, they're riveted on from the factory um, and these are the Galfer uh, replacement rotors um, and they come with bolts to attach them to the stock hat. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angle grinder and grind off uh, the rivets and then drive the rest of the rivet out with a punch. Now when you're grinding these, you want to get into uh, the base metal of the rotor. Uh, what you don't want to get into is the hat that's behind it. You know, this is a couple millimeters thick, so you don't have to worry about it unless you get crazy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other nine of these off camera and then I'll come back. So as you can see, they're all ground flat. And uh, what I'd like to do is take a, flip this thing around and then take a hammer and then from the back side, Give this a whack. And what that does, I hope you can see it, is give you a little better visualization of where the rivets are. Once we have that, place a punch in the middle of the rivet. It just dries right up. You just go around and repeat the process. This is the piece you're after. This is, you know, most people call this the hat. Um, these are the little rivets that come with it. So Galfer uses bolts uh, and nuts. And the problem is these are six millimeter uh, bolts uh, and they don't fit. So you have to go drill them out. So one of the reasons I'm making this video is um, six millimeter drill bits aren't a very common thing to go pick up at a big box store. Uh, I ended up ordering one from McMaster Car. Uh, if you've never dealt with them, they're wonderful. You normally get your order within a day or two. So. I recommend using a drill press for this since we want to maintain perpendicular uh, ness between the face and the where the rivet was.
And then like always, make sure you debrew your part when you're done. And the last part of this is just to install the rotor. These do come with nylocks, um, so you don't need to use thread lock or anything on them. I'm going to use a torque wrench to uh, tighten the nuts on this. Um, two reasons it's braked. Uh, and the second one is I want to maintain flatness between the hat and the rotor. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, use a torque wrench and I'm also going to tighten them on the diagonals. Um, I actually had to email Galfer uh, because the installation instructions does not cover this, but the torque setting is 9.5 newton meters, which is about seven foot pounds.
all done. Like I said in the beginning of this, I hope this helps somebody. Um, wish this would have been out there when I was trying to put my bike together. All right, y'all have a great day.